The search for the alternative fossil fuels is one of the hottest topics in contemporary science. This is due to our nation's dependence on oil for energy. Displayed by a statistic that we go through 19.2 million barrels on average per day. It's obvious that we need an alternative to gasoline. Yet some of the methods we are currently using to find alternative energy sources is doing more harm than good. Fracking is one of these methods. Fracking is the process in which energy companies drill deep into the ground and extract natural gas by pumping a blend of chemicals mixed into water in order to break up rocks which contain the fuel. The gas that the process is excavating is called shale gas, which many, including the Obama administration, consider to be a bridge to help us cut down on greenhouse gas emissions. Fracking has also created thousands of jobs for our citizens, including 200,000 in the state of Pennsylvania. The shale gas industry has exploded. Yet although fracking seems great, dig a little deeper and you find how damaging the process can be. Wells created for fracking are protected by a thin layer of cement that can be damaged and cracked by many things, including pressure under the earth, ground movement, and general shrinkage. These cracks allow for fracking fluid to seep into local aquifers, leading to a subsequent increase in harmful chemicals in groundwater, which include methane, which has a 17 times higher concentration in drinking water wells near fracking sites. If these chemicals do not find their way into local aquifers, the wastewater that is a product of the fracking process is usually placed in holding ponds, where there is still a high likelihood of it contaminating drinking water. Another harsh downside of fracking is the impact it has on climate control. Again, the problem is with how the wastewater is dealt with, with dangerous chemicals evaporating to the air in these holding pools. The methane present in the water that evaporates traps 20 to 25 times the amount of heat that CO2 does, and then, although it only lasts 12 years in the atmosphere, the high levels have a huge effect on the warming of the Earth. The water expended on fracking is also a huge issue. In the U.S., 70 to 140 billion gallons of water are used annually for fracking. To put this in perspective, this is equivalent to the water use of 65 cities with a population of 50,000 people. Fracking is also causing giant issues with the transportation need to ship its materials. One fracking well could require 3,399 one-way truck trips, which leads to local roads being extremely broken down and worn out. This can lead to huge costs for the taxpayer, as seen in Arkansas where they estimate that the damage done to the roads will cost an upwards of $450 million. The impact fracking has on human health might be the most disturbing. Some of the chemicals released into the atmosphere, including benzene, carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, and many others, are harmful to human health. They are known to cause organ damage, birth defects, and even cancer. The water pollution is also very harmful to humans, as radioactive materials and heavy metals are found in the fracking fluid that seeps into aquifers. This leads to only more human health issues, including respiratory problems. People living within a kilometer of fracking sites are four times as likely to have fracking-related health complications than those living even two kilometers away. Fracking is being used to harness a whole new source of energy that could really help lessen our nation's dependence on oil. However, the flaws in the process cause major issues for infrastructure, climate control, and human health, and outweigh the positives. There are other, much less harmful, forms of alternative energy, such as solar power and hydroelectricity. Fracking must be stopped, and we need your help. Go on to www.nofrackgasinmass.org and sign a petition to ban fracking and the use of shale gas excavated by fracking in the state of Massachusetts. Only together can we stand up to the energy companies and make sure that fracking is brought to an end.